Today's numbers are about four times higher than what the CDC reported just six days ago. Oh, I know. Our estimates, we believe, give us a better estimate of how much disease, hospitalization, and death there is. The government now believes roughly 8 million children have come down with the virus. In addition to the 540 who have died, 36,000 have been hospitalized. Among adults 18 to 64, there were an estimated 12 million cases, 53,000 hospitalizations, and almost 3,000 deaths. What we are seeing in 2009 is unprecedented. But the agency insists the outbreak hasn't actually worsened. Instead, the numbers now include cases that previously had been missed. We have underreporting of cases for several reasons. Not all patients who actually die from this are detected, meaning that they don't even realize the hospital has what they have. In some cases, they suspect it but can't confirm it because the right tests weren't done. Or third of all, because of the fact that uh, it just doesn't get into the system. Still, the 3,900 estimated deaths are only about one-tenth of what we usually see in a typical entire flu season. The CDC said the supply of H1N1 vaccine continues to increase. As of today, almost 42 million doses are available. Katie. Dr. John LaPoop, John, thank you.